end up on today's ride out. I think we might head towards Kirtlington. Go and have a quick look at the canal. See if there's a lot of people out on Bank Holiday Monday. I should think there probably is. Been another week of exciting home working again. No change as of yet. Businesses around the world obviously trying to figure out how they do make a change. How they do uh, get people back to work. How we get the economy back to normal. But as for me, still from home for now. Although like I said on the first video, I am enjoying it. Got that workspace to work from to split up home life and work life and it's working out quite well and obviously being able to spend more time at home and less time on traffic I can do videos such as this and have time to edit it use been using that time I normally use stuck in traffic more usefully doing things that benefit me as a whole but do miss the banter of being in the office um, although my preferred choice of conferencing system being Microsoft Teams has been quite quite well used for banter each day oh, and it is lovely weather today lovely and hot <laughs> must be about 20 odd degrees I think Whoa. Hit that speed bump a bit hard. Lots of people out. And a bit. Lots of people out exercising on their bikes. Which I'm going to do in a little while with my little boy. Get him out on his bike as well, burn some energy. Make the most of this bank holiday Monday. Oh, one of the planes coming into land, Western on the green. Bit of a sight there to see. And some recent news in terms of aircraft teams, we saw some. The uh, Vista Glider Club, who have been at the Vista Airfield for way before I was born, have been uh, given notice to leave, to leave the airfield. It's closing down. So, a bit of airfield news there. I would expect they'll end up where that plane's going. They'll end up at Western on the Green Airfield. But we'll have to wait and see what the news comes out about the glider field where they do end up. Whether it's uh, on the Western on the Green Airfield or somewhere else. But sad news, all my life over Vista always seen the uh, gliders going up and coming back down again especially as a child played a lot on Caversfield Park where the gliders would come over quite low and no more once they leave but at the moment they're still going up but I'm not sure when they're leaving but sad times for them And uh, I thought as well, maybe we'll run on about the bike today, give you a quick show around it. Once we get to Curlington, the um, 
bike itself is a Suzuki GSX 650F touring bike. I believe on the last one I said trials, it's not a trials bike, it's a touring bike. Um, being from the GSX family from the Suzuki has the speed that you'd expect from Suzuki in a GSX but weighs a bit more, it's not as light definitely feel the extra weight which helps when touring lovely comfy seat as well does feel nice As far the furthest I've driven so far on the bike, or ridden on the bike, I guess you'd say. Um, furthest I've driven on ridden on the bike is uh, to Norfolk. Uh, went and saw some family there, and um, it was comfortable on the way. I took breaks on the way there, so it wasn't as bad on the legs. But on the return journey, it was a bit harder. I um, did the whole run with no stops, and the legs definitely felt it when I um, when I got there when I got home as it were the legs definitely felt it I might do another ride out to Norfolk do an episode it's an interesting ride out some interesting spots along the way and uh, it's a good city Norfolk as well we've been in Norwich um, might do some vlogging around Norwich at some point we have a uh, holiday on the broads in October if it goes ahead which I should think it will um, and that will be that will be filmed as well and uh, uploaded on the boat we do love our holidays on the broads nice and tranquil quiet wildlife getting away just escaping for a little while I would say getting away from people but right now it'd be good to be around people instead of away from them after so many months away but normally it'd be uh, an escape for two weeks and people as well there's obviously normally it wouldn't be locked down so you'd be around people constantly seven days a week um, but like I say as of right now it'd be good to be around people and so it's more for the uh, scenery when we go there this year I should think more for the change of pace of life to slow down chill out and make the most of it. Oh, not far now. Then we'll get to Kirtlington Quarry. Have a quick look at the canal. Quick browse and then go again. I don't think we'll see there for any time. We'll just go down. Some nice houses were built round here. Well back. And uh, not far from um, Kirtlington Golf Club either. There is a lot of cars up here, a lot of people here today, a lot of people out and about. about today around Kirtlington making the most of like I said making the most of that bank holiday sun getting out but we're gonna go further on we're gonna go have a quick look at the canal Ooh, car coming up here now Lots of potholes down here. Hell of a lot of potholes. But we'll speed this one up for you as we go down here. So it's going to be a lot of stopping and going. Oh, let's go and have a look. Back brake bit. 
There's a front brake won't do much good on this sort of terrain with this sort kind of bike. And this has always been like this as well, in case any of you are wondering. It's always been bumpy, it's never been level. And there are people that live at the end of here as well. It's not just a track for tourists and people to come. It's uh, it is someone's driveway. Um, people do live down here. As in you have the cream tea rooms there. Maybe visit there one day. And then at the very bottom there's houses as well. Which used to get flooded but I believe they were rebuilt and rebuilt higher up. So they're on like stilts. Uh, you can't tell they're on stilts. But the foundations have raised them up. Um, so they get more height as it were um, then it was easier getting down here on my old bike this one is a lot harder as in I uh, oh I'll place a picture actually um, when we get down here I'll place a picture of the uh, other motorbike that was down here see the quarry part we just saw Curlington Canal really um, but nice enough place lots of people about there that's what I was mainly coming here for just to see how many people are out a lot of people ignoring restrictions though no face masks that I could see of no face masks whatsoever but I did have one on myself but obviously I've also got my helmet on so I'm pretty well protected And let's head over to Hayford. Go and have a quick look over that way. See what people are out. Oh, got around that head. Really rarely holds me up. Bit of skill.
let's fast forward to Hateford. Now. So this would be where you'd normally get your canal fire boats from, but they're all in at the moment. Is it not allowed out? And this is further down from where Hayford is.
and the train line too. But yeah, a lot of canal boats around. Not out on hire, which obviously impacts their salaries and earnings for the year, thanks to COVID. But not as many people around here. So guys, let's uh, wrap this ride up. We've seen uh, today the Kirtlington Canal and uh, the Lower Hayford Canal. Cool, look at that van. Someone's taking the wheels off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. So with that being said, I think we'll call it a day today. And as always, I wish you was here with me. And until next time, we do another mystery tour which will be episode 3 they're coming thick and fast please give us a like a thumbs up a comment and subscribe let me know you care and also share your feelings let me know the good and the bad please leave a comment below everything helps until next time bye